Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask in the world. Today we are testing India masks. That's right, masks from India. Looking at the very popular Ramsons masks, we're told. Not 100% sure. Let, uh, let's put it in the clamp and see about this guy. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out the link. Keep in mind, we are just testing the fabric of the mask here, and both fit and filtration are important when considering a mask. All right, Romsons, what you got? Romsons Dispo Guard. It's like a play on disposable and guard. I like it. You look at their website, romsons.in. Look at the Dispo Guard soft ear loops. Okay, hypoallergenic fabric. Fluid repellent filters 99% of bacteria released in droplets. Again, we've talked about this. Uh, actually, I'm, let's see if, I, if there's anything else on here. So apparently, um, in the Indian standard, doesn't account for a PFE machine like this uh, until you get to what's called a uh, uh, class three Indian mask. A class three Indian mask, you have it has to be tested by a machine like this. Uh, otherwise, you can um, you can just look at bacterial. Here's the problem with bacteria: it's way too big. If you're if you're considering for COVID protection, bacteria is like ten times, twenty times larger than what most COVID is, and so it's not a good design. This is designed you know, to protect you against bacteria. And I also feel like it's disingenuous to say 99% bacteria filtration if you're not actually filtering for COVID. If you're selling for COVID and then you're going under the standard, it's not good. The American standard is much higher, uh, which we'll go in over a minute. Extremely comfortable. I'm just seeing if they're making any claims. Uh, it's kind of a nice box or was. Uh, it did get damaged uh, in shipping, as you can see here. Um, I don't like that when you open it up, it's just the masks. I don't think I've seen a, aside from the individually um, sealed masks, I, I haven't seen any of that, that seal inside the box, which is unfortunate. I also really don't like this, is what I call this uh, diaper ear loop design, uh, because it uses the same tech that a diaper has. In fact, the, the guys that invented this were diaper makers. Uh, it is very efficient though, you can make about a thousand per minute, but look at this. Oh, oh! Wow, super impressed, holy cow. Okay, okay, Ramsons. Uh, yeah, you, you got something there. Usually when you do that with these diaper masks, they just like tear right off, but not these guys. That is some, oh, they're welding it. Oh, that is super cool. Not nerding out a little bit here, but check this out. Uh, now, most of these diaper masks, uh, are, uh, are, are gluing here, which is why they come apart so easily, which is one of the reasons why I don't like them. But they are doing a crazy double weld on top of the glue here, see? You can see that weld stamp that goes there. Pretty cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna say this is the best made diver mask that I've seen. I don't love it still, because when I put it on my face, um, and by the way, it's gonna break if you, you know, it is a diaper mask after all. Um, like if you really give it any, but I don't think it's, normally these things, I, I find they're gonna break right on your face. Let's try this out and give it a smell real quick. See, I don't like how it like pulls on my ear. Some people think it's more comfortable. If you like this style, then more power to you. I'm gonna call this uh, the Sunday morning edition of the Times of India. It smells like paper. Not terribly so. Um, yeah, see, I mean, it kind of breaks. I don't think it's gonna break in your face. I don't love the style, but of all the diaper masks I've seen, this one is probably one of the better ones. So, how does this match up? 54%, 54.959, 54.9, half, half of the stuff that's coming at you is going right through the mask uh, into your face. If it's COVID, like if it's small like COVID, I don't like that. That doesn't make me feel good. This may well be with Indian standards. I question that though. I question that that bacteria, I think bacteria would get through that. I'm not growing bacteria today here, folks, so I can't call them out on that. But I can say that I would not wear this mask. I don't think you should either, but that is my opinion. Um, 
it's just sad that this is one of the bigger brands uh, in India and this is what they're giving people. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we testing this? Well, we gave millions of masks away to India and people criticized us. We spent our own money, we paid to ship them there. And they said, why are you doing that? They make masks in India, we have plenty of masks. Well, people on the ground, scientists and the doctors and the epidemiologists there were saying, hey, we don't think that these masks are up to the same American standards. Um, and it turns out that in, in the case of some of these, like this one, 54%, uh, that's right. This is not a mask that I would use to protect myself. That said, we've got masks from India, uh, you know, and, and I'm gonna put a link to all our results that do fall in the you know, 95, 96% that are great masks that I would recommend. Um, so just make sure you're, you're, you're getting something that's gonna protect you if you're out there in India. Now, uh, I, obviously, you know, I, my ego runs on likes and subscribes here, so I'd love that. But to be honest, um, check out the link below for all the masks we've tested in India. And if you have a mask that we haven't tested, please send it to us or, or, or tell us how we can buy it. These were really hard for us to come by. So, um, so I appreciate it, appreciate the time, and I will catch you on the next test.